Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today uh, we're doing a very quick video on Dolip Domino's uh, brake pad change. So these are the stock brake pads. They are still good enough uh, in terms of you know uh, the quantity, but uh, there's less bite. And my friend wanted a little more bite, so he's purchased these uh, ceramic brake pads from Versa, which we all know, uh, which are quite famous and people are happy with. So this is the model number SD9068 which have been purchased and these are somewhat how the brake pads look. Okay. Ceramic. I also had purchased but uh, I haven't changed because my have not worn out and I'm not riding much. As you must have seen not much Dominar videos you know for rides. So uh, first step is to loosen these two bolts and take them out from here. They are over here just in case you know someone wants to understand and the caliper goes in over here like this so these are 14 number bolts and you can use uh, uh, sorry these are 12 number bolts and you can use a 12 number ring spanner they'll be quite stiff when they come out okay the the threads are not easy so be careful with them don't rush uh, let them come out slowly uh, do them you know take them out half turn by half turn next you have to unbolt this one for this you will need a special bolt somewhat like this this should fit and unscrew it and then the calipers uh, then the brake pads will fall off and you can replace them just unscrew it and take the bolt off before you unbolt you have to take this pin off that's a safety pin so that uh, the bolt does not vibrate and fall off. Before putting the new pads, just you know, use a toothbrush or something and wipe off all the dust that is accumulated. Okay. So I'll use this toothbrush and remove all the dust from inside. Clean the caliper from inside. Okay. It will get dusty in some time. Uh, at some what is left here but anyways since we have opened it we cleaned it we cleaned the floating pin too and uh, now these are the new pads these are how they look just for comparison if someone wants to you know uh, see how the new and old pads are looks wise okay so now let's install the new ones you just slide them in like this Put the pads in and lock the pin. Uh, one more thing I forgot. So since we are installing new pads, I push the you know, pistons behind because new pads will uh, require more space as they are less worn out. So once you have done that also, then you can start uh, the assembly of the brake pads. Put in the brake pads, new ones, and. Uh, lock in this pin once the calipers and I mean once the pads and pins and all have been installed don't forget to put the lock pin back okay it will be in this position so your set is ready now you can put it inside the brake pads on, on the disc and bolt them out once the caliper is in place put the two bolts back make sure you don't tighten one of the bolts completely I mean do it turn by turn put the threads in turn by turn so that there's no lock anywhere at you know, I mean the brake caliper does not uh, lock itself in one place so always good to tighten it turn by turn this is what I'm talking about don't tighten just one bolt first completely till the end do it turn by turn so that the caliper sits you know, perfectly and face to face and in the end torque it out with the proper spanner don't over torque it too because this is all
casting and the threads can come off very easily the threads can break very easily once the pads are installed uh, always make sure to pump you saw that the first when i break when i push the lever it was completely you know it had completely gone inside so don't directly drive press it multiple times so that the the pistons inside sit in place and there's no gap and you don't have a brake failure when you first try to brake even after installing make sure you don't uh, do hard braking let the brake pads you know uh, you know kind of uh, match the disc uh for like 50 100 kilometers ride slowly brake slowly after that once they have you know matched perfectly you can use it uh for high speed braking and all so he's now going to use it for at least you know 2 uh, 300 kilometers to so, the road sir running kiti hai around 40 kilometers 40 kilometers so maybe he'll give us feedback in a week's time and then i let you know we all know that vesa is 100% works fine there's no issues but still you know how was our work done we'll get a feedback from him and then i'll get let you know Hi uh, so I have ridden the bike about 70 kilometers after installing the brake pads and I have noticed a uh, big difference in the initial bite force of the uh, of the brakes especially at higher speeds and it's given a, giving me a lot more lot more confidence in the stopping power of the bike so yeah, I think overall it was a worthwhile upgrade Try to hurt me and